Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to uh, video 11 of In Exilium, our uh, RPG game we're developing. Uh, this week, uh, this video is going to be uh, relatively short. I'm recording it a little early because I'm going to be uh, on vacation out of town uh, until next week. Um, and as far as content goes, there hasn't been a significant amount of work that's been done, but the demo is done, basically. Um, I just prettied everything up and finalized everything, all the settings for everything. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Create our character here. All right, so right off the bat, you will be able to see that there are a lot of new textures. I got rid of all that sand, just kind of like the plain sand everywhere, and really tried to give it kind of more of a, a outdoorsy feel. Um, so we kind of have like some grass and some dirt uh, and some kind of like forest-like texture, and it, it kind of changes up uh, as you move around. There's just kind of some uh, thicker grass up there. Uh, so different ground textures added this kind of cobblestone looking path thing just to kind of uh, give uh, once again just another element of uh, some textural contrast on the ground. Um, when you start uh, the game you will start with a dagger and that's all you have for the demo so far. Um, so it'll just be lying here on the ground that way you don't have to go around and start punching stuff with your hand until you can finally get something. Um, I've changed the message here for the messenger guy and now uh, kind of reads off some real basic information. Uh, welcome to the Inexam demo. Feel free to roam around, kill enemies, try different builds and collect loot. Uh, to the north are some enemy characters and to the south are monsters. And then it gives it just a quick overview of some of the short keys. So tab, you toggle your run mode. Uh, and then these buttons open up the, their respective uh, player window options. Um, and then just a little message here to report bugs. Please send an email to uh, this email address because ultimately that's the point of this uh, releasing this demo. Yeah, it's to give you guys all uh, a really quick uh, gameplay kind of demo and maybe get some feedback on that. But it's mostly to have to find some bugs because as one man, it's kind of hard to test everything every time you make a change. And so there could definitely be some things in here that I'm missing. Actually, I'm sure, I'm certain that there are. <laughs> All right, uh, next, uh, you can also see that we added some kind of environment stuff to liven it up. So we got our merchant guy. He's got a stand with uh, with his items on it. And the storage guy, uh, the warehouse guy, has just got a bunch of boxes that he stores stuff in. Um, in the, uh, sh um, for the merchant, I basically finalized all the prices, attributes, um, and everything that's going to be in there. I'm not going to go through and show everything. I'll leave that to your guys' uh, exploration when, uh, if you play. Um, but everything's basically finalized, all the price. Got a f new items. Uh, got the hammer in there. Um, got some new armor. So I'll be able to show some of that off uh, when we look at some of the AI guys. Uh, some mage hats and so on and so forth. Um, shields. And then skills. Um, I've implemented skills up to tier 4. Um, I won't show any of those just to leave a little, little suspense. Um, and uh, here's the arrows. You can get arrows for your bow and then you can still sell them a pair. Alright, so next I'm just going to show off. Uh, I created a kind of random uh, equipment deal for the uh, opponents. Um, so now they generate with random stats uh, based on level tiers um, and random equipment. So this is kind of a quick preview of all the armors and stuff that you can uh, you can have. Uh, we got most of them of just kind of the basic leather armor, but you see we got this guy with the bow here, um, who's got uh, someone's chasing me, um, who's got studded armor, which is the next uh, next level up, and it has certain requirements, and then. Uh, this guy here is wearing chain armor, and he's got, uh, these guys are, they're probably going to kill him. Anyway, so this is just a quick little, uh, a little, uh, preview of kind of all the armor so you can get. Oh, that was one thing, if you didn't notice that, that I, uh, 
added a new, uh, a couple new spell effects. So the fireball, which used to be just that simple little glowing ball, which was a neat little part of that particle effect in and of its own right. Um, I got some really cool particle effects for some of the projectiles. So the energy bolt, like the two basic projectile uh, skills that uh, I have in place, um, went through some drastic improvement. Let's see if we can get them to shoot again. Here we go. Yeah, so that fireball looks, oh wow, fireball looks a lot nicer. Um, Alright, we'll just restart uh, one more time. Oh, one more other thing I wanted to show off about those enemies, I guess we'll run back up there, um, is arrows. Now there's a dynamic arrow shooting, so when you shoot the bow, it actually shoots an arrow. Right, let's get this guy who's got the bow. So, oh, he's going to cast the skill first. Okay, now that he's shooting, wow, they are just killing me. Anyway, hopefully you caught that. He actually shoots arrows out of there. Um, so these guys are tough. So basically, before you go up here and try to take these guys on, make sure you kind of level up and get some good gear and stuff. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, and like I said before, everything is finalized. All the drop rates, all the um, uh, the loot that they'll they hold, all the experience that everything will give you, um, all the items and prices and selling prices and so on and so forth. Everything is all finalized. So. It's this is it. Like I, there are a couple of known issues that I know about. One of them, I'll kind of mention one of them right now, is that there is no preventing enemies from coming. If like, let's say you're in one of their pits and you have a bunch of enemies chasing you, and you run and you bring them back into your town here, and they kill you, they will go ahead and kill all of these NPCs, and you will be stuck and have to restart the game. Um, I have not implemented a way to keep enemies out of the walls, uh, which is something that will be done eventually, but uh, it's just I kind of want to release this demo right now and kind of start working on that other project a little bit. Um, so that's something that will definitely be completed in the next kind of release. Um, so yeah, like I said, this going to be pretty short. Uh, that's that's all I have uh, to show. Uh, what's going to be next is next two weeks I'm going to be working on the website, working on the distribution, how I want to distribute uh, this game. It's probably going to be an executable download or some sort of download from the website um, and some sort of contact framework. Uh, like I put this email here for you to contact about bugs but it doesn't exist yet so I need to like create that and um, Maybe, maybe I was even thinking about putting some sort of forum option up in the website. I'm not really sure about that, how complicated or involved that's going to be. Um, but definitely just some way for people who are playing this game to, um, to be able to kind of give back uh, some information to me, uh, what, they, what they thought, uh, bugs, of course, uh, so on and so forth, so I can continue. Um, and there are also a ton of new features that are going to be added in the next release to things like questing and crafting and so on and so forth. Though I do have plans for all that stuff, but it was just I wanted to get this kind of gameplay demo out first uh, and do all those all those things will be a part of the incremental releases to come. All right, so that's all I have for Inexilium, but like I said last video, I want to talk a little bit about this this simple little project that uh, I'm uh, going to be starting. Um, it is a little strategic card game actually and it's super super simple the uh, thing it's uh, the in, the most inspiration uh, that's uh, the the game that was the most inspiration for it would be a game like uh, triple triad from Final Fantasy 9 uh, Final Fantasy 8 I don't know if anybody uh, knows that. I'm sure a lot of people do. It's not exactly like that game at all, don't get me wrong. It's not just the nine uh, card board that you place cards on and flip stuff over, but it's very simple like that. It's actually just a ten card board and the mechanics are different. You're not flipping cards over. Uh, you're They're doing other things. I'll, I'll leave that to the next video. I'll probably talk a little bit more about the gameplay. Um, but yeah, so look uh, uh, Keep your eyes open for videos on that. I'm going to switch to a weekly video thing, so I'm going to kind of alternate back and forth videos. So next weekend, um, hopefully when I get back from my vacation, I'll have about four or five days to kind of pound out a rapid prototype for that, uh, for this new game. 
and then I'll kind of show some of that next weekend. I'll post a, a trip a video on this game, and then uh, the next weekend after that, uh, I will go back and post a video about the distribution process and so forth for an exam, and then alternate weeks uh, from then on uh, about the different projects. Um, all right, well that's uh, that's all I have. Uh, today guys thanks for watching feel free to comment uh, rate and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next week thanks